Welcome. Video blog number three, War Stories of Recruiter. I'm relaxed today. I'm on my right brain creative side as I look at our black and white world. Not sure why we drained all the color out of it, but what I've seen is the inability to change and to be creative within our rules and regulations that currently exist. Personally, professionally, the act of doing something because that's what, why we always did it, or that's because that's what the rule book says, has left me a bad taste because the reality is I thrive on the ability to question and to be creative. And I think that in order to be a creative and successful workforce, a creative and successful personal, individual, family, friends, you got to know when process, black processes are needed and required. And you also need to understand that this box mentality doesn't work. Doesn't work professionally, doesn't work personally. So as uh, I can't tell you what time it is right now, I can't tell you I'm open and I'm always open. Why am I open? Because recruiting never sleeps and because processes are meant to change. So as uh, we head into the winter once, the only thing I can think about is my ability to thrive and question and motivate people to take something and to really and truly deliver a communication to the community, to a group, to management, about why it might be a good idea to rethink rethink your thought process, rethink the way you do business. We can't get stuck in a world where we just do things because that's the way we've done it. Sunday dinner at my house, it's black and white. Meat and potatoes, ham, roast beef, meatloaf. I love it, but you know what? In the world we live in, that meat and potatoes has got to be got to be turned into a filet mignon with au jus sauce and a little uh, garlic mashed potatoes. So, as I leave my thoughts today and I head back to lunch, I'm a little um, over my lunch break, but in my creative world, in my f effective way of utilizing my time, not how much you work. It's not how long you work, it's the quality of work you do and the time that you are given. I think to myself, I'm very satisfied with my ability as a professional to think outside the box. And I'm very satisfied with some of the uh, processes that have been modified because of my ability or my comfort level of questioning them and trying to uh, motivate people to change so let's uh, let's move forward let's touch base and uh, I said on a weekly basis but who knows you know I think that the uh, most important part is to keep in touch and uh, as things pop up we'll uh, we'll talk about them so uh, let's uh, let's move forward and uh, I'll see you next time